Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. I was out at Walmart last night and they have the brand new 2021 Bowen Platinum out now at some Walmarts. Luckily, this Walmart was one that kept all of their cards behind the customer service counter. So, stood in line for a little while, got up there and was able to get one box of a Mega and one box of a Blaster box per person. Heather was with me, so she got one each as well. So, we've got two of each to open up now. Just to let you know, this is an $80 product. I'm not sure if these are exclusive to Walmart. They have been in the past, but this $80 product, the Mega Box, has two autographs in it. So we're going to have four autographs in this video. We also have these, the blaster boxes, which are $21.98 apiece. Now, the Bowman Platinum lineup features 100 base cards and 100 top prospects as well there's also a bunch of inserts you can see there's these icy foils that we're going to find in this box with 32 total cards so we'll show you all the odds let's get this show on the road we'll start off with uh let's start off with the hanger box now dusty collectibles is going to get this hanger box dusty thank you very much i appreciate it if you'd like to buy a spot in any of our breaks or any of our videos like this one, sponsor video, make sure you check us out on Patreon. It's $4.99 per month to have access to videos like this. Exclusive Patreon-only videos that we post from time to time as well. And let's take a look at this product right now. So seven packs plus one extra pack, so eight total packs. I think that extra pack might be the Icy Foil Parallel Pack. You can see that Heston Kerstad's on the front with Alec Bohm. And here are all of the odds that you can find in here. No purchase necessary stuff as well if you'd like to pause that. Let's check it out. You've probably seen this at your Walmart. And maybe you were a little bit unsure. I bet you some of you probably saw the Monster Box. You're like, hey, $80. I don't know. I mean, that's kind of a big commitment to not really know what's in there. So let's check it out together and see what you've got. So here's our eight packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I thought there was going to be a, an icy pack in there as well. I guess there isn't. Let me check the box again. There is not. So I guess they're just randomly inserted in the middle of the packs. There's only four cards per pack. So just kind of like the Topps Chrome packs that we've grown accustomed to opening. Let's take a look at this design and see what it's all about. So you got Shane B. leading things off. Kind of, uh, I don't know. Kind of a bland design. There's a Meteoric, Luis Campusano rookie card. That's a nice one right there. And you Darvish for the back of the card, if you're wondering. This is what the backs of these cards look like. I don't know. For me, I'm kind of like, um, I don't know. C minus on the design right now. I'm not too, uh, not too thrilled about the design. It just kind of looks, I, I mean, I know it's called Bowman Platinum and everything. There's nothing too crazy about it. There's a Jacob deGrom leading things off. we got Alexander Vargas from the prospect set. We've got our first icy. It's going to be an Alex Bregman and a nice Bo Bichette. That's a nice card right there. Bo Bichette making an off-balance throw across the diamond. I feel like Bo Bichette cards are going to be the next ones that you want to really, really look out for. Man, he is really, really good. There's Christian Yelich. Maximo Acosta, nice prospect with the Rangers. There he is, Wander Franco. That's a great card right there. Wander Franco. It made his name like an elemental symbol right there. That's kind of interesting. And Steven Strasburg is the last card. Now, in terms of finding an autograph in a blaster box, it's going to be tough. Might not be able to find one, but uh, we'll sure try. There was Alex Kirloff rookie card. Not a bad one right there. Adinso Reyes, we've got our second icy foil. It's an Alaric Solar Ray. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And John Carlos Stanton, who's had a really great ending to his season with hitting a lot of dingers. Unfortunately for him, his season's over, along with all the Yankees, as they were eliminated by the Boston Red Sox. That's got to just, you know, add insult to injury. There's Koei Arihara, Juan Soto, one of my favorite players, Burl Car Caraway, and Alex Bregman, non-icy version. Next pack up. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully everybody's having a very nice Sunday. It's a triple upload day, triple video day. We just did the uh, Bowman Chrome X. We got this one right now. And I think we'll do an auction tonight as well. There's Braylon Marquez. So I hope you'll toss a uh, tap. Or Is that even the word? Tap that notification bell and uh, click all because that way whenever we go live or post any videos you'll get notified via the youtube app we've got twenty-one thousand of you that have hit that 
bell. It tells us in the analytics page, so I appreciate everyone that has hit that bell and turned on those post notifications. There's a Joey Bart renowned rookies card. That's a nice one right there. I kind of like the look of that one. Not so sold on the uh, the base design. Yeah. You can let me know what you think. Some of you might really, really love it. Those of you that are kind of like minimalists and don't like a whole lot of busyness on your cards. There's a Kill Badoo who's coming up. That's going to be a nice one. A Kill Badoo. Shout out to Fuzzy on this one. That's one of his favorite players. All right. So that's that. Let's go ahead and also check out the Bowman Platinum Box. We'll do, uh, we've got a, another blaster box that we'll get to here in just a minute. And we also have another mega box, but let's finish off Dusty's round. This uh, Dusty spot was for one mega box and also for one blaster box. So this bad boy right here has 20 packs in it. You can see 20 packs, five cards per pack. So this is $80. The last box, the blaster box we did was $21.98, so $22. Bucks. And uh, you're guaranteed two autographs in every box. So um, I don't know. It's roughly the price of four of those blaster boxes. You might want to go this route just to get the guaranteed autos if you know it fits your budget. Here's all of the odds and the no purchase necessary. Now, I'm not sure if these autos are going to be absolute garbage or not, but we'll see. We're opening two full boxes, so we'll have a good idea of what you can expect to find. Let's make sure we got all 20 packs out of there. It looks like we have... And all right, Dusty, let's go ahead and see what we can find for you. Good luck. That's a whole lot of packs. Basically, that's like a whole um, hobby box worth. There's 20 packs in, in Optic, for example. We just did an Optic showdown last night. Hopefully, you're able to watch that one. It was a long one, over four hours. Nice Austin Hendrick. It looks like you get five cards per pack in, this, uh, in the Monster Box version. There's a Sam Huff. Not a bad one right there. He's got some crazy good power. I think he's got like two 500-foot home runs this year. We've got Andrew Vaughn. That's a great card right there. I'm a big fan of him. Looking for big things from Andrew Vaughn. Another renowned rookie is Joey Bart. Kind of a weird edging problem on that card. I don't see if that edge is a little bit messed up. And it looks like this one is might be as well. Geraldo Perdomo. So I don't know if that's just because of the way the uh, they're packaged in the box. Maybe there's not enough um, you know, support in there. Jake Cronenworth. A Hudson Haskin, Chris McMahon, Trevor Story, and Garrett Cole. Also, I'll be interested to see, are the autographs going to be sticker autos? Or are they going to be on card? I bet you they're going to be sticker, but we'll see. Here's our next pack. we got Kbert Ruiz, who, of course, now is on the Nationals. Alika Williams. There's Jihuan Bay. And we've got a Gabrielle Arias. I like how they do the... the uh, the uh, elemental symbols. That's kind of interesting. Kiebert Reeves. What's with the corners on some of these cards? You see that? It's going to get like a PSA 6 if you sent that off. That's the bad thing about retail. When you buy a retail, you never know like who is stocking the shelves. They may have just thrown... Like for these, at this Walmart I bought them at, they just have them in a shopping cart in the back. So who knows if they just dumped them from the box like right into the shopping cart. Here's our next one. Eric Payne is a very nice prospect with the Royals. And there's our autograph. It is a sticker auto. It's Nick Maton, shortstop prospect for the Philadelphia Phillies is our first hit for Dusty. He's going to have another autograph as well. Looks like he was a Phillies number seven pick. I don't know if that means seventh overall or seventh round. 2017 draft, Nick Maton. And Paul Goldschmidt is the last one right there. Goldie, kind of underrated. I would not be surprised if Paul Goldschmidt ends up in the Hall of Fame someday if he just keeps doing what he's doing for the next five, six, seven years. Joey Bart, rookie card. Jared Kelly, Mick Abel, and Luis Diaz is our last one. Next pack up. We got a kill Badu again for Fuzzy. There's Jared Kelnick. You'll be seeing him in Top's update, which is supposed to come out this month soon. I'm looking forward to that. It might actually be the end of the month. I think it may have got pushed back, but we'll be looking for Kelnick and a a kill Badoo in that release as well. Looking forward to that because of the top's black gold inserts. There's Joe Adele. Joe, Jamari Baylor. We've got a Diego Cartaya. I haven't heard of him before. And Joe Adele is the last one in that pack. So Dusty looking for one more autograph. And then we got a whole other box. Actually two boxes to do. There it is. It's a Tommy Henry. It's a red also out of 10. So a nice numbered Tommy Henry from the Arizona Diamondbacks. It's a pitcher auto, so can't be too 
you know, super happy about that. He was a second rounder with the um, Diamondbacks in 2019. Tommy Henry is our autograph. You're meeting Mercedes in there as well, getting some play. And some of these later releases. I don't know why it took Top so long to get your mean Mercedes's rookies out there. He was absolutely mashing in April. Took him, uh, didn't really start getting his rookie cards out to like, what, August, September? There's Fernando Tatis, one of my favorite players. Tatis will be in the discussion for MVP. Might not be the favorite to win it because, you know, the Padres didn't really uh, do anything the second half. Pete Crow Armstrong, first rounder. Sixto Sanchez, and there's that Bo Bichette again that I like so much. Couple packs left for Dusty. There's Juan Soto. Another one of my favorites. What's this? It's a blue-bordered Diego Cartaya. Is it numbered? Um, not blue-bordered. Sorry, I'm not colorblind. It's green. It's a 73 out of 99. Interesting. Nice card right there. Hopefully he becomes a nice uh, big-time prospect with the Dodgers. Also, I've noticed these packs, at least for me, I've had a little bit of trouble opening them. They just don't want to... Just... I don't know. It kind of reminds me of the Gypsy Queen packs from this. So there's Sam Huff, Justin Foscu, Beckway. That's an interesting name. What sounds like a store name. Like, hey, let's go to Beckway today. Austin Martin. And we've got John Carlos Stanton is the last one. Next pack up for Dusty. Alex Bregman's on the back. There's Nolan Arenado. There's Bryson Stott, Marco Feliciano, and Bregman for the third time today. So... I think since we already hit the autos in this and, um, you know, try to keep the videos as close to 20 minutes or less as possible, possible I'm going to do the ever so popular Super Rip. That's what I call it. I don't know. It's probably not the not the best name, but it's where I just rip the rest of the packs. We go through all the cards at one time. So hopefully we can maybe find another parallel of something in here. We'll probably start to see a lot of doubles because there are, you know, not super a lot of cards in the set not too many but a lot of cards in this box 80 total cards you can let me know in the comment section if you picked up a box of these for yourself how was it who were your autograph hits i'm interested to know the autograph checklist is looking over here at the checklist off to the side it looks like they have 72 total cards in the autograph checklist so it's kind of a big checklist they also have some uh, meteoric autograph ones but for the most part you're gonna be getting mostly prospect autos in this there's definitely some nice names on there, some first-rounders and stuff like that. But uh, so far, nothing too crazy. There's a Bobby Dalbeck rookie card. like that one a lot. Gabriel Arias coming up next. Nick Madrigal, of course, now in the Cubbies. Andres Jimenez is in that trade for Frankie Lindor. Hey, Shohei Otani out of 150 blue. That's a nice one right there. We'll get that one sleeved up for Dusty. like that one a lot. Anytime you can get a Shohei Otani, it's pretty good. His cards, of course, are super hot right now. Ronnie Mauricio, there's Jordan Alvarez, one of my favorite players. Top 10 player for me, Jordan Alvarez. Love him. There's Ronald Acuna Jr., another one of my favorites. Soderstrom was a first-rounder. Luis Patino is a guy that you need to keep an eye on. Meteoric. This guy throws 100 miles an hour easy. And Raphael Devers' his last card. So, Dusty, thank you very much. So, we've got one more round to go. We've got two of these to do. I almost thought about doing one on Patreon and one on the main channel, but it's like, let's just do them both in the same video. Derek Cornelson's taking a blaster and a mega box. Good luck, Derek. We'll do these super rip style for you folks. Just because, you know, we've already seen most of these cards. We're going to be in the doubles and triples rounds now. I mean, we've already seen Bregman three times. So again, this is our second look at a blaster box. These are $21.98, which after tax, it's going to be uh, probably about $24 bucks or so, somewhere in that ballpark. Let's see if I can get these packs open a little bit easier. That this just fell right on out of there. I don't know why. I just I almost wish that, um, wasn't it last year, 2019, where they just put like, there was a box and there was just one pack in there? I feel like there may have been. I'm going to have to go back and look at my other preview videos because I opened this in 2019 and 2020 on the channel. And it may have just been one pack with all the cards in there. But now they're giving us a workout. I've actually already opened like a thousand packs today. It's actually Sunday morning at 1.08 a.m. right now because I just finished the showdown and I wanted to get the Sunday videos all recorded so I could 
kind of clear the way for some family activities on Sunday. So burning the midnight oil here on Sunday morning. I'll get this video uploaded sometime Sunday afternoon for you guys. But here we go with Derek's box, a meteoric Austin Martin. There's a nice Evan White. It almost looks like it should be a parallel, but it's not. Andrew Vaughn, once again, we've already seen some of these. And remember, you get four icy foils in the blaster boxes. There's Matt Chapman. That's our first of four, Jake Cronenworth. And Marco Luciano, that's a great card right there. He is one of the top prospects in baseball. You're going to hear a lot about him in the coming few months as we go into next season. Harry Berto Hernandez, I see. Cole Wilcox, we've got a numbered card here out of 199. Ezekiel Duran from the Yankees. Another prospect, Clark Schmidt, seen him a couple times. Nick Madrigal, Icy is a nice one. Dylan Carlson's always a good card to have. Joey Bart, they follow each other up just like they did in Series 1. I think those two are always back-to-back -back in Series 1 packs right after the other. Robert Hassel's a first-rounder. That's a good card. Yon Diaz and Davey Garcia. So personally, I kind of like the Mega Boxes more. I mean, if you love Icy Foil Parallels, obviously the Blasters are going to be for you. But I just feel like... I don't know. I feel like you probably get more value out of this. You can let me know if I'm completely wrong, but that's just the, the kind of the uh, my instinct on these. Yeah, you're going to pay almost four times as much, but look at all the packs you get. And you get the autographs as well. All right, make sure there's nothing else in there, and then we'll do a good old super rip here. Let's go ahead and start off with uh, this stack for Derek and see what we can find. I hope everyone has had a very nice weekend. Thank you very much for watching once again. We've got some good videos coming up for you. I don't know exactly what the schedule is going to be, but like I said, we got an auction tonight. Uh, tomorrow will be Mystery Box Monday. we got some Mystery Box products to open up. I also got my silver play button from YouTube. I'll unbox that for you in its own video. I got a painting from Ike uh, from Ike's Art Studios. It's a beautiful $2,400 painting. I can't wait to show that one to you. Some of you can maybe guess what it is already. And um, what else do I have for you? I've got the big bat box, which I, I think they might be all cut up now. It might be the October box. Man, my, my, my finger feels like it's going to fall off. Let's try the other side here. All right, so Derek, let's see what we can find for you. I don't have any scissors, so there's no shortcut, no easy way out of this. Got 10 more packs that I got to get through tonight before bedtime. Spencer Torkelson is always a good one. Yoki Cespedes is a very good prospect. Younger brother of Ioannis Cespedes. Do you guys even remember him? He kind of disappeared off the face of the earth. I guess he was like wrestling around with wild hogs at his ranch. Stepped into like a... A sinkhole or something and just totally messed his knee up and he hasn't been the same ever since and i don't he just kind of disappeared he opted out of last year and now kind of falling off the face of the earth i don't know if we'll see him again there's francisco alvarez a very nice prospect i got an icy out of 299 alfonso rivas for you derek george springer austin meadows another one of my he was always one of my favorites with the Pirates. Patrick Bailey's a first rounder. Nice one with the Giants. There's Dylan Carlson. No Joey Bart follows him up this time. Instead, it's Alex Kirloff, another nice rookie card. Bobby Miller, Whit Merrifield, kind of an underrated player. Whit Merrifield, if he played for the Yankees, would be a major, major star if he was in a bigger market. And there's our first auto. It's a good one. Best one of the day so far. Maximo Acosta for the Rangers out of 150. You can see he was a free agent signing there by the Dodgers, but he was the number five prospect um, in the Rangers system. So, you know, top five prospect in the system. That's pretty good. So, Derek, congratulations on that bad boy. Let's see what else we got for you in here. Jacob deGrom, there's Maximo Costa yet again. Bobby Witt Jr. is always a good one to get. There's Vladdy, one of my favorite players. Definitely a top three favorite player for me. I love Vladdy. Always have. Always been on the Vladdy train, if you remember. There's Mike Trout. Hoping that he can get back and be just as healthy, if not better. I, I mean, I'm worried about Mike Trout. There's Casey Mize. He had that calf strain. And, I mean, who misses a whole season from a calf strain? It's got to be really serious. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous because I do have a... Uh, I've got a four-card PSA-graded Mike Trout collection of his 2011 Tops update. So I'm hoping that uh, he can recover. 
I mean, he's Mike Trout. He's already, he could retire and still be a Hall of Famer like tomorrow. Just based off of the, uh, the stats he's put up, the war, the wins above a replacement he's put up. He could be like Sandy Koufax. Sandy Koufax only pitched 10 years in the big leagues. His arm went, went, shot his arm. His arm went shot. What's, what am I looking for? Basically threw his arm out and uh, still in the Hall of Fame, Sandy Koufax, because he was so dominant during those 10 years. I mean, really, if you look at most Hall of Famers, they're really only dominant for about 10 years or so. Like, they're not, like, there's a lot of guys that are kind of okay as they wind down their career and they kind of just compile numbers. But if you look at their prime, like in their prime, you just see nothing but all star appearances for like 10, 12 consecutive years. Those are the guys that end up in the Hall of Fame. Guys that are really, really good, like. Johan Santana or Carlos Delgado or Cliff Lee, you know, players of that ilk that had great careers, but maybe were only great for five years. Just don't ever make it. Clayton Kershaw is another one that could retire right now and be a Hall of Famer. <laughs> if you look at guys like Miguel Cabrera, slam dunk Hall of Famer, but what's Miguel Cabrera done the last five years? Really nothing. Think about Albert Pujols as well. He's another one. He had like 10, 12, some good years where he was at the absolute machine in St. Louis. But what has he done with the, you know, the Angels and Dodgers? Really, he's been kind of like a eh, cringy type. I don't want to say cringy, but he's been uh, not very productive. If you look at his ward, a lot of times it's a negative. Well, that's the kind of guy I'm talking about. But, I mean, 10 solid top player in the big league type guy. You're a Hall of Famer. Ryan Mountcastle's a nice one. Bryson Stott. We've got Shohei Otani there. There's Pete Alonso. Sam Hoff, rookie card. There's Beckway again. Definitely should open up a store and call it Beckway. Maybe a gas station. There's Austin Martin once again. Juan Soto. So we're seeing a bunch of repeats. There's a nice icy foil out of 299. Bo Bichette for you. Congratulations, Derek, on that one. You've got one more autograph coming as well. Don't forget about that. Ryan Mountcastle, his stock's rising. People's realizing yeah Mountcastle's actually pretty good slow start to the season but really finished off great over 30 dingers there's walker bueller one of my favorites gage workman and there it is alfonso rivas will be our final autograph of this video it is he was a fourth rounder in 2018 alfonso rivas to go along with the maximo acosta so the acosta was the best card by far of this video there's jared kelnick and see if we got anybody else of note or any other numbered cards before we close up shop in this video. Bobby Dalbeck, Austin Hendrick, Dylan Carlson, rookie card, and Tyler Stevenson, a nice one right there, batting third for the Reds a lot of the time. That'll do it. Derek, thank you very much. Thank you to Dusty as well. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this new lease preview video of uh, Bowman Platinum. Now at least you have an idea if you want to pick one of these up or not and give it a try for yourself. 80 bucks for the Mega Box for two autographs and a bunch of other cards, and 22 bucks for a blaster box. So I hope you guys have had a great weekend. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. And if you'd like to check us out for our auction a little bit later tonight, uh, we'll be live with that. Make sure you tap that notification bell so you get notified when I do hit the go live button. So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your Sunday, and I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.